Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial of Armor 3. <laughs> Got a bit too excited there, and you know why? Because I love sharing these things with you. Yes, that's right. I want to share something with you, and it's gonna be amazing. So, the thing that many people would like to know is how to make an NPC talk to you. So, I'm gonna explain that exactly in steps to you. So, first of all, the thing we need to do, like in every, 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 every tutorial, is plop down some units. So, we're gonna plop down two units, one a player, and one is gonna be a non-playable, and we're gonna make him like, um, hmm, I don't know, uh, 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 an officer maybe? Yeah, let's go for that. So, then we need to ungroup them. There we go. And go back to units, and we are gonna rotate him like this. Zoom in a bit. Double click this guy and give him a name and we're gonna name him Officer uh, uh, Officer Phone for example, I don't know You know what? Let's let's just call him Officer Joe There we go. Press OK and it's invalid. Of course, it's invalid Just call him Officer then <laughs> so Next thing you want to do is go to modules and place down group modifiers and set call sign. And then you got the custom call sign right here. If you don't type in anything here, it's gonna say alpha to one or something like that when you when you just says something. So we're gonna give him a name and we're gonna give him a name which is Officer Joe. This should work. There we go. Next thing you want to do is synchronize the call sign with the officer. I'm sorry, I had to cough. Uh, next thing you want to do is place down a trigger. Uh, like uh, 6 meters by 3 should be enough. The activation will be blue 4 because we are playing as the blue 4. Just like that. Oh, let's make it a rectangle, of course. Turn it around. There we go. And then we need to give the officer a waypoint. So we're gonna give him a waypoint right here. And we're gonna say him to talk. Like this, talk. Then, next thing you wanna do is on act. Now this is really really important and I'm gonna show it up on the screen so you can look at it and I'm gonna put it in the description so you can copy it and we are gonna tell him on act it's gonna be officer site chat then the two stripes a space I'm gonna tell him walk with me son and then close it up just like that and then press OK <clears throat> now because we said to the player that he has to walk with us I'm gonna have another waypoint like a little bit further and it's just gonna be move on the slowest and slowest possible and we're gonna say the exact same thing so it's gonna be officer site chat the two stripes we're gonna tell him I have a mission for you private you know it's really simple it's just like the side chat so uh, it's gonna pop up on the screen as for you as player in blue uh, like you go in multiplayer and talk in the side channel well this is exactly the same so he's gonna talk in a side channel to you now we have to you have to be careful because um, <clears throat> you can't talk to other factions. So, if this officer was an OP4 unit, I wouldn't be able to see what he has to say because, you know, other factions can't see the radio channel of another faction. So it has to be the same faction. It can be it can be civilians that talk to civilians. It can be Blue Four that talk to Blue Four. It can be up for that talks to up for or the independent that talk to the independent. It doesn't matter as long as you are the same faction because it won't 
it will not work otherwise. So just like that, I have a mission for you private. Really, really simple. Now you have to synchronize the trigger to the first waypoint of the officer or any other unit you might use. Always, always, always synchronize to the first, first waypoint you have set up for this guy. If you don't, then it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be, yeah, it's gonna be really, really weird and it's not gonna work at all. So we are gonna put our guys, or guy, a little bit closer. And we're gonna test this baby out, man. Yeah, there we go. Preview. So we're just gonna walk towards the trigger and this guy will be able to tell us something. Well, that's at least what I'm hoping for, cause you know how the editor goes, it can go wrong. You can do anything you want to do sometimes. So there we go, walk, walk with me, son. So we're gonna walk with this guy, he just said something to us, which is Officer Joe, because we gave him a name. And there we go, he stops and he says us that he has a mission for us. So it's it's really that simple, guys. And if you want to do like more, um, more text, you just add another waypoint. So let's add another waypoint like right next to it, and it, he will stay on the same place and still say something. So we're gonna tell him, officer, side chat, the two stripes. I'm sorry. Just like that. There we go. Now you have to. <clears throat> I'm sorry. You have to keep in mind that um, the time between the two waypoints have to be enough for you to read the text. So this this waypoint is gonna come directly beh behind the other text. So you're gonna see that when I'm going in. It's gonna pop up like half a second later. So we have to keep in mind. And let's just uh, put the sound up, I guess. Yeah, it's really, really low. There we go. <clears throat> I have a mission for you, private. Well, go on. Ah, didn't work because they were too close to each other. Makes sense. So we're going to put it like right there. And we're going to put it on careless and limited. Ah, no, 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 no. I typed it wrong. It's ha it has to be two Fs. There we go. Let's do it again. I have a mission for you, Private. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Sir, yes, sir. So, there we go. It's really simple. Um, at least if you know how it works and how you have to do it, then it's really, really simple. If you don't, then you just watch this tutorial and you will be fine. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, little video I prepared for you guys. And, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy to share these kinds of stuff because, you know, the Arma 3 editor is kind of complex um, it's a lot of research and uh, yeah but anyway that's what I'm here for right so guys have a good day and I see you next time oops that's the wrong one <laughs> bye bye